around him, he just uh, gave up. So, uh, uh, I'm going to borrow you some time away, T. All right, so one thing that I highly encourage is obviously guard because as wonderful as takedowns are, they're very taxing, stand-up is taxing. It would be much more efficient for you to learn how to pull a strong guard and how to play guard. Open guard because you don't want to go from standing to close guard because on the way from standing to close guard, you have open guard. And why go to close guard when you have to reopen your guard to go to open guard? So you should have an open guard ready to go to. We'll work on all that. We're going to work on takedowns. i got a wrestling system for you guys that is going to be fantastic. So we're going to do that on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So here we are. We're in a closed guard because my legs are closed. The other thing that I didn't see a lot of is breaking of the posture, pulling the head, and making them reposture and work. Okay, I saw this right here. It's not going to break his posture. If his hand is right here, I want to take this, pull it off, break his posture, keep my legs high. I saw way too many. Okay, and I, you know, and I even saw this with our students when they had somebody in the guard. Their their knees were low, giving him very easy access to my knee. Okay, if I break his posture here, pull his hand off here, and my legs go high right here. Okay my knees are high, I'm still crunching and I'm creating tension forward. So it's harder for him to posture up versus here, okay? And you see how easy access he has to the leg because what he wants to do is he wants to use his post, put pressure on his knee, push it down, open the guard and immediately stop passing, which puts him at least two to three steps ahead of me because he opened the guard on his terms and he's opening it to pass, not to just say, ah, I open your guard, you know? So I wanna break his posture get my knees high so that even if he repostures here, he's have, see how much harder it is for him to create a push because his elbow is way too over bent in order for him to create, create power. He needs it right about here to create an actual push or even an elbow, which doesn't stop me from pulling him in, bringing him in and constantly breaking his posture. So posture breaking, and getting a high guard has to be a fundamentally core part of your guard so that when you get here, you're able to now begin to change the angles a bit and begin to already get his arms out of position and control and make them work harder, okay, while you work smart, okay? So I broke his posture here. He's postured back up. I got a collar here, okay? I got here. I open the guard, go into a collar sleeve guard here, okay? I pulled him to the right, okay? And then he posted with that hand, and I wanna to get to about here, because this is a good way to set up a lasso, okay? Because what happens is, is that, let's down, okay? I'm creating tension with this foot, and I'll do it from a different angle. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap this around, and I'm gonna go for a lasso, okay? The first sweep we're gonna do is the, just basically putting my shin across his, Waistline right here, not on the mat, elbow knee together. He slowly starts passing. My hand is waiting for his knee here. I keep my elbow knee connected. I'll do it from a down angle, don't worry. And then as he passes, I kick this leg through and I keep it straight. I don't want to bend it. I want to keep it straight and pulling so that my left hand controls his right shoulder. From here, my right foot goes to the mat. My left leg's like I'm flexing my tricep and I lift the hip. So as now I begin to turn and I begin to lift here and I get him into a side control right okay this is simple simple lasso sweep and you guys can be, you can start out just from basic double sweep control here so from here I can go put my hip out here I wrap it but I have to use my hand to help open up that arm. If it's too tight here, it's hard for me to get the leg over. So I have to use my arm, leg, and then I pull this. So I want to wrap my leg, knee. And very important is to wrap his hand or your hand right here and lock it to your hip so he doesn't weave it around. Because if this is loose and that's right there, it puts a lot of tension on my fingers. And if he wraps it around and then he pushes that way, he'll break the grip and you gotta let go. Okay, so I want to be here. You can start with one arm in. The arms inside is the one on the lasso. The one on the, I mean, yeah, 
The one on the outside is the one I would get into a spider guard, okay? So what I wanna do is I like to put my foot here for a spider guard and then lasso this here. So my, everything's working together, pull it in and lock him in right here. Cause my left instep is very tight to his ribs so that when my leg moves, he moves, okay? From here, he may move this across here to pass. That's fine. I keep my elbow and knee together. Elbow and knee, you see how his knee comes to my leg, or to my hand right here? So as he keeps passing, because he needs to separate my elbow and knee, they typically go high and keep walking around. Yes, right here, okay? So I straighten out my leg. This is still locked, and I want to use this foot to screw my hips in here. And you see how his right shoulder is basically attached to my left leg. So wherever my left leg goes, his shoulder is gonna go. So I wanna lift my hip to create a rotation, lift my hip, and I wanna drop my leg straight as I lift his leg here, okay? And you're gonna wind up in this situation here. You'll let go and just get to a side control, okay? One last time. You can start out with just the feet on the hips. You don't have to start off with the collar sleeve. The collar sleeve is one of the most important open guards. That is this transitional guard where you go from collar sleeve. Because for, when I get a collar sleeve right here, okay, from here the question is, am I going to triangle him or potentially not Kimura, but you have Omoplata setups right here, okay. So collar sleeve is primarily for triangles or omoplata. So when you get the collar sleeve, I tilt him to my right, I access his hand right here, push away, the lasso here. So you can start with your feet on the hips, I mean, yeah, on his hips, and his right arm inside. You, you should be able to lift the hip off the mat using his thighs here, and then I, Turn to my side, extend, pull it in right here. And I want to engage. I put my instep where my kind of, my ankle, not ankle, but the, the foot, chin. Bar, shin. Listen, I'm not a doctor. Okay. <laughs> right here. And then I immediately want to reach for his knee right here so that I don't wait. But if he starts passing to his left, he feels he gets around this leg. I can grab it underneath too. And then you see right here, I screw myself in underneath up and, and bend the left leg so he doesn't land and from here you can come knee to the belly or you can just go to side control get your sweep and something. okay let's try that one two three big guys just remember one thing your leg should always have the toes back so the thigh quad everything is engaged you should never let it dangle yes now you're letting it pass get on your right side okay now keep the mat <laughs> so you, you, got, you can lift with the right foot. 